I made this notebook to help us understand the tension mechanism better. So this is introduction, but we can skip this. Uh, we have some imp imports. We have uh, three of these variables here, hyperparameters. So embedding dimension is the length of the embedding vector when you embed the token. Sequence length is the context window. And batch size is how many context windows at once you are processing. So let's say four. So we have four, uh, one, context, one batch size, four tokens in a uh, sequence length in a context window. And each token embedding has a size of eight. Here we are just printing. And by the way, we will make size of key and value same. So let's go to input data. We will just create a tensor that has batch size, sequence length, embed dimension, random numbers. So then we are going to create our project projection matrices. So projection matrix for query, which will project embed dimension, which is going to be our token, each token individually into the uh, dimension of the key. So, oh, okay. So this is a mistake. So I guess, is it a mistake though? Yeah, because uh, it's not because uh, key and query have same dimension. Yeah, dimension of key and query vector. So we will just use uh, this dimension. So uh, this is the first challenge. We need to calculate query key and value. Um, so how would you calculate query? Or sorry, this is, yeah, query. Uh, we need to replace this none. So the way we would do it is we would pass the input X through this projection, through this linear layer. So W underscore Q input X, same for key, W underscore key input X and W underscore value input X. So that would be it. Then we have just some checks to see later if we passed. Uh, and then expected uh, query key shape is going to be batch size, sequence length, and dimension of key. And expected W shape is going to be also batch size, sequence length, and dimension of W, or oh, sorry, V, uh, value. <coughs> so uh, we will have uh, batch size times sequence length number of values. Let's go to step two. How much? Should each word represented by Q query pay attention to every other word which are represented by key? Every other word will be represented by K. We calculate this by taking dot product between uh, each query and all the other keys. So query times a key transpose matrix. This is what we have. It's uh, visualized here. Query zero dimension one query zero dimension two, all the way to query zero dimension D. And for keys, we want to transpose. So we when we are doing matrix multiplication, so we want to multiply this guy with like this vertical. So for that, we need to put uh, key one vertically. So if we do transpose over the last two dimensions, we're going to get like vertical, so key zero dimension one, key zero dimension two. So we will get it vert vertical if we transpose it like this. So let's code it here. Attention scores raw is gonna be, uh, it says here to use torch math mool. So torch dot math mool. This is matrix multiplication, uh, query matrix and key matrix dot transpose we need to transpose and we will transpose uh, last dimension or second to last and last so that's it next i will show you a problem that can happen let's say we got these raw attention scores or let's just say we got this vector so now we want to apply softmax to put these values between zero and one while conserving their relative uh, value between each other. So this one should still be six times bigger than this one and three times bigger than this one, but their sum should be one. If we use softmax just with these values naively, then 
first number will be 140 something second number 22,000 and the third number e to 30 will have like 13 digits which is huge and then when you apply softmax on that you will get like here almost one and then these numbers will be extremely low so this is not good because there is no signal shown for example here this number doesn't have too much lower attention score than this number it's not like uh, look at the difference here this is uh, a lot bigger difference in attention scores than here so if we first divide all these numbers with some number then i will tell you which number but in the end we will get a lot nicer scores although i said that this one should be still like three times lower than this one but that was a mistake it doesn't have to be three times lower than this one so but uh, there needs to be a reasonable uh, difference or relation or comparative relation between them and we can soften this to reduce uh, based on the formula we are using here we can reduce this and increase these a little bit or we can sharpen this and then decrease these but that doesn't matter what matters is that we don't get these values that don't tell us anything uh, that lose so much information then compared to this and the, the number we are dividing here is the square root of the dimension that happens to be a good uh, number and so these are the key value or token dimensions this this should be like for example head dimension but since we are not using heads this can be just a key dimension now let's go to this uh, task three or step three we need to implement this what i just said so first we will use uh, math.sqrt to calculate the scale factor which will be square root of uh, dimension for the key which is i think d underscore k yeah d underscore k so d underscore k and then we will divide uh, raw attention scores so let me copy this over scale factor so that's gonna be our challenge three and now let's go to challenge uh, four we need to apply softmax as i explained earlier in challenge four uh, for each query each query has a correlated uh, list of attention scores with every other key of every other word so one query has correlated list of uh, scores with every other key and we need to apply softmax uh, alongside th that key dimension so that all of those numbers add up to one so for each so each query has an array a vector of uh, attention scores for each key that all add up to one and then we can look at them as uh, probabilities for example so it says here we need to do it across dimension minus zero minus one which is the last dimension so you can imagine it as every you have a bunch of vectors in a sequence and every vector corresponds to the uh, query with the same index so the first vector is going to be a bunch of keys corresponding to the first uh, query so that's why we uh, do this softmax alongside the dimension last dimension i will go up here and uh, copy attention score scaled and so here attention weights i will say uh, we can use for example f dot softmax and here i will say attention score scaled and dim equals minus one so what we get now is uh, for each word in the sequence for a single word we have a vector saying how much of every other word every other word's context or value this uh, word should get this is gonna show the importance of context of every other word more important words will have higher numbers in our softmax softmax array so they will give more value to this current word i explained this attention mechanism in my uh, video here 
uh, coding DeepSeq V3 from scratch in more details. But the last step is going to be a multi using those attention scores to add values to each of the tensors, vectors, sorry. Here is the formula softmax of this. We already have this times value. So we already know that attention weight shape is n times l times l with n is number of batches. Uh, l is uh, length of sequence, context window length, number of tokens. And so when we multiply this matrix with this matrix, we're going to get these two first dimensions and the, the last dimension here. And the first dimension will stay the same. So we, it says here uh, that we should use a torch math mool. So let's use it torch dot math mool. And the first one, we just created attention weights. Okay. And the matrix. Uh, now I forgot what it's called. I think just V value matrix. And that's it. Now I can run this all and see if we made any mistakes. So everything looks good in the beginning. It just displays our hyperparameters. Uh, this is the input X we generated. Okay, so shapes are correct. Raw attention scores also seem correct. Scale attention scores correct. Oh, this is just the shape, sorry. Yeah. But anyways, this is the scale factor. This is the square root of this uh, dimension of K, of keys. Then we have sum of weights for the first query one, which is correct. And then we got output shape, shape, uh, batch size, uh, sequence length, and uh, value, value vector dimension. So it successful and output tensor is this one. So we implemented basic self-attention mechanism successfully. You can check uh, my video for deeper explanation. And what I'm going to be trying is improving this, implementing and improving this latest uh, native sparse attention by DeepSeq released like a month ago. I think this is going to be there in their DeepSeq V4 and DeepSeq R2. It's actually pretty crazy. They have like 9x to 11x, 6x speed up on on the transformer architecture based on the sequence length and the longer the sequence length the higher the speed up so you can also watch this video on my channel i explained it here uh, link below as well you can support me on patreon to help me do this full time see you in the next video